Website builders have gotten really good over the last few years. I'm a professional developer, but these days I just use a website builder if I'm creating a website for like my band or for my mom's small business. For common websites, like for a small business uh, or an online store or a portfolio or a blog, it, it's just easier and faster to use a website builder. Now, there are a whole bunch of website builders you could use. But in this video, I'm gonna talk about the five that I recommend. Of these five, Squarespace and Shopify are my top recommendations. But the others have unique strengths that will work well for the right type of user. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if you'd like to try one of the website builders, you can find a link to them in the video description below, and I may earn a commission. Okay, let's start with Squarespace. I highly recommend Squarespace. It's the website builder I most often choose for my personal projects. Squarespace is like the apple of website builders. It's intuitive and thoughtfully designed. You create pages by adding sections. Or you could also just add individual elements. There's a lot built into Squarespace. They have excellent blogging, strong e-commerce, appointment scheduling, and a whole lot more. Squarespace is probably most known for its excellent templates. Beauty is subjective to a degree, of course, but I think they have the best templates of any website builder. You'll probably notice a consistent look and feel. Bold typography, white space, and lots of room for photography. Customizing your template is easy. So let's say we wanted to add our brand colors. We just edit the color palette and the colors are applied automatically. And that's as far as we'd need to go. But if you're someone who likes control, Squarespace lets you dig a little deeper to specifically control where those colors are applied. So that's Squarespace. I think it's the best overall website builder and I highly recommend it. Next, let's look at Shopify. Now, Squarespace, Webflow, Square Online, and Wix, they are website builders for all kinds of websites. Portfolios, blogs, small business websites, e-commerce, and a bunch more. But Shopify is only for one kind of website, e-commerce websites. And because of that focus, they're also what I'd recommend if you're building an online store, especially if it's a sophisticated online store. This is Shopify. And this is me adding a product to Shopify. And this is what editing a page looks like in Shopify. Now you've probably noticed that Shopify isn't a drag and drop website builder like Squarespace. It's a little less easy to use. And the truth is Shopify has a learning curve, but there is a reason for that. Shopify is really powerful. And if you're building an online store, you want something powerful. The best example of this is apps. With Shopify, you can add apps from their app store. These apps range from gift wrap up sales to back in stock notifications, to local delivery. Shopify has far more apps than their competitors and their lead in apps is just getting bigger. Apps are important because not every online store will need gift wrap up sales. So you don't wanna include gift wrap up sell options in the Shopify core because then the core would get super bloated. For example, this is Volusion, one of Shopify's competitors. Their product editor is bloated with a long list of form fields. This is just overwhelming. By comparison, Shopify's editor is clean and straightforward. Shopify also has a track record of launching innovative features like Shopify Payments, their own payment processor, Shopify Fulfillment, which takes care of packing and shipping products, or Shopify AR, which lets customers look at products in augmented reality. Overall, I recommend Shopify if you're building an online store. Next up is Webflow. Webflow is what I'd recommend if you'd like to design your own theme from scratch. This is the editor, and this is a design I mocked up myself. It's not a template. The key thing to understand is that Webflow gives you the flexibility of front-end code without actually requiring you to learn to code. So we can adjust the padding on this heading tag, or we can change the border radius on this button. Now web developers will recognize padding and border radius. These are CSS properties. Webflow is just taking these properties and organizing them into an interface. The other great thing is that Webflow includes a CMS. So for example, in my CMS, I created a collection of articles. Each of these articles automatically have their own page. And this can get really powerful. I will say Webflow has a learning curve, so it will definitely help if you understand the fundamentals of web design. 
Next up, Square Online. Two quick notes. First of all, Square is a different company from Squarespace. I know, it's confusing. Secondly, Weebly was acquired by Square a few years ago. So if you know Weebly, just think of them now as Square. Square Online's editor is simple and easy to use, but it's not super customizable. You build pages by adding sections. Now within the section, you can toggle individual elements on or off, but you can't actually add any new elements. Instead, you'd need to find a different section. The reason I recommend Square is because it's easy to use and they also have excellent e-commerce features, especially for local businesses. So if you need point of sale, uh, delivery, appointment scheduling, or curbside pickup, Square Online has great support for that. Next up, Wix. The most important difference between Wix and other website builders is that Wix is an unstructured editor. So you can grab any element and move it anywhere on the page. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the unstructured editor. For me, I find it gets complicated, but for the right type of person, I could imagine this is exactly what they're looking for. Wix probably has the widest feature set of any website builder. They have a ton of elements you can add to your website and sophisticated features like restaurant ordering, music distribution, appointment scheduling, and more. They also have a huge selection of themes, though the quality can be inconsistent. Some themes are modern, while others are more outdated. Okay, there you go, my top five website builders. To close, let's quickly take a look at pricing. This is the lowest price for plans with no ads and unlimited bandwidth. You can see that Squarespace, Webflow, and Square Online have the lowest monthly price. Wix is a bit more expensive. Shopify is the most expensive, but that's because Shopify is only for e-commerce. So let's change this chart to look at the lowest monthly price for e-commerce plans with no transaction fees. Now Square Online is the cheapest. And it turns out Webflow's cheapest e-commerce plan with no transaction fees is super expensive. So there you go. I hope this was helpful. Like I said earlier in the video, my work is supported by affiliate commissions. So if you'd like to try one of these website builders, you can find a link to them in the video description below. And I may earn some money. At any rate, thanks for watching.